Yeah, how's it going everyone? Maryland here! Yay! We did it! We did it! Yay! We did it! We finally... We, we are out of tutorial mode, finally. <laughs> oh man, it feels so good. Yeah, sorry the last episode was really long, but you know what? I just really wanted to get it done. It's out of the way. We can actually have some fun now, because I can ride around on my motorcycle. Yeah, let's do this. So I know there's a lot of exciting stuff to do, and I'm just going to let you know I'm not going to do that today, and the reason is I'm actually recording this, well, it's like, okay, so episode two, part two just went up, and I want to wait until I get some feedback, like just so you guys know kind of, you know, the timeline, but I'm not going to do anything past this until I kind of have an idea of what y'all want to see. So we're going to just kind of do some odds and ends this episode. Just, you know, not going in either of the direction. We're just going to make both Arvin and Amona wait. But I want to see about these glasses, okay? Because I forgot about that last time. Well, I didn't really have time. I mean, you know, let's be real. So, yeah, there's some sunglasses here, which I guess I have just enough for. That looks pretty good. Kind of like that. How about the blue? Yeah, there we go. That looks actually pretty rad. I think I'll go ahead and get that. Let's pay with cash. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now I look reasonably cool. I got shades. There are some socks. Nice, thick socks. <laughs> All right, we know what she's into. And there's some shoes, which, you know, is great. I just don't have the money. Wait, what did your son tell you? My son told me to join some group called Team Star. I have no idea what kind of sports team that is, but I'm sure it's very fun. Ah, yes, it's like a team flare. Have you heard of a team flare? So, I want to actually make some progress in getting some Pokemon, and I think the best way to do that is by cheating. So, let's go ahead and... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, or am I? So, I'm going to grab some... Pokemon from Mystery Gift. In fact, this is what I want to kind of show you briefly here. The Poke Portal. This is where you can do Union Circle if you want to play with friends. I don't have any friends, so I'm not going to be playing that right now. But this is where you go if you did not just can't. I do have some, but not for this series. I don't know. You could also do Terror Raid battles either with friends or with randos online or whatever. You can also just solo them if you go on the map, but this is where you would join them. I'm not showing either of these two today, maybe like in the future. And then this is where you can go to trade. Uh, yeah, surprise trade, I'm not gonna bother with any of that. You can battle here with Battle Stadium, but the one I wanna do is Mystery Gift. And you'll need, oh, by the way, you have to press L on this screen here in order to connect to the internet if you want to do any of this stuff on the internet. Otherwise, it defaults to doing it locally. And it has a little different things how it, it goes about. But I'm just going to do it like this. I have a few codes. One of them, unfortunately, will expire by the time this video goes up. Just knowing the schedule. But I'm going to get it anyway, because why not, right? All right, so unfortunately, this, uh, this code will no longer be good by the time you're watching this. It expires on August 18th. And according to my estimations, this video will be up on August 20th. At least if it's uh, central time. But yeah, there's a free shiny Grimmsnarl. <laughs> so uh, sorry if you missed out on this, but it's a good idea to keep tabs on like various social media or stuff to see about these codes. So am I going to take a free shiny Grimmsnarl? Heck yeah, I am. Who wouldn't, right? Cool. All right. So that's one of my Pokemon of the day. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, so this one will be good for a little bit. If you're watching this in August of 2023, it should still work. If you're watching it past then, it probably won't. But Dark Terra 0006, this will get you a free Charizard. I mean, sure, why not, right? I'll, I'll take a free Charizard. Sweet! <laughs> yeah! It's even a Dark Terra type, too, which, uh, you know, I'll take it. Sure. Okay, this one will last a little bit longer. It's get your Mew, except instead of a zero, it's a, a well, instead of an O, it's a zero. My bad. So this uh, gets your Mew, of course. 
You know, at the start of this, I was saying I just didn't feel like making video, and this is the start of the whole series. I was saying I, you know, I just didn't have my muse. Well, this will solve my problem. Now I'll have my muse. Or at least a mew. Yeah, so this lasts until like September, middle of September 2023. So if you're watching this far into the future, it might not work. It's to kind of go with a, a Mewtwo event. Now, neither Mew nor Charizard are in the Paldea Pokedex, so I'm not counting those as, you know, new new catches, but <laughs> I'll take the Grim Snarl. I'll still try to get a normal Grim Snarl, don't worry. I like free stuff, so I'm just gonna enter all the other codes I have pulled up. So level up, this lasts until like very beginning of October 2023. Just gets you some rare candies. Yeah, 10 free rare candies, I'll take it. Additionally, REV1VE, kinda like revive. This lasts until early October 2023. Sweet, five max revives. And then Catch by Ball lasts until, like, the beginning of October, same as the others. And this gets you just a variety of different types of Pokeballs. Free stuff! Look at all that free stuff. I do love me some Luxury Balls. Okay, this one is a little bit tricky. It's Natsuno Tokun, and it's kind of more in Japanese, of course, with the O's as zeros. Or N-A-T-S-U-N-0. T zero K K U N. That's yeah, a little weird. And this isn't like super exciting. It's like the end of September as well. But it just gets you some sandwich ingredients. Yeah, bananas and peanut butter and butter. Yeah, sweet. Okay, that's actually it. All right, so I just officially cheated. My run is now invalid. <laughs> no, doesn't matter. I'm not really gonna be using any of this stuff. I mean, maybe some of the Pokeballs, but like, it's just. It's just there for fun. I figure I might as well show it at some point, and, you know, it's kind of fun to joke about this. Sorry I can't get the Grimstrong. Hopefully you got it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and move these. Oh, what Terra type? This Mew comes with a random Terra type. It's water. It's kind of alright. Surf, life do. So there are a lot of items around town. I'm just gonna kind of cruise now that I can go a little bit faster. I'm just gonna pick up some items. I'm probably not going to get them all. It's also so nice being able to jump. Oh my goodness. Max revive. Well, I just got some free max revives, so, you know, I don't really need that anymore. All right, the, uh, the question. The burning question. There is a bench. But can I sit on the bench? No! All right, over by this bench, there is a soothe bell. Oh, that's actually really nice. This is like way out of the way. I don't even know who would go over here, but there's a full heal, which is kind of nice to have. All right, I see it. I see some items over there, but I'm gonna need to jump. <laughs> I'm gonna need to be very careful up here. Although at least now I have my big lizard, so that's fine. And if you fall while you're on, uh, ooh, Ice Fang, that's actually pretty nice. If you fall while you're on this thing, you don't take fall damage, nothing happens. Ooh, a zinc. I could sell that for some money. I mean, I could use it for raising my Pokemon special defense effort values if I really wanted, but I like to just sell those. Like, it's really easy to EV train in this. All right, this is like impossible to find. I love exploring. It is behind the academy. Like, you can go, you can jump across the fence and then ride back here. I couldn't even get here from this side. I don't even know what this is. Amnesia. Well, maybe I did know what it was and I forgot. That would be fitting. So in the back area of the Uva Academy, or Naranja Academy if you're playing Scarlet. You know, I'm I'm playing Violet, but yeah, there's a super potion there. And then over by this little corner here, there's a heal ball. So this is a cool thing that a lot of people completely skip out on during their first trip here. But there's this gate in the western side of Mesa Goza, and you can just go right in. And where is it going to take you? It is going to take you to... Well, I, I won't spoil it. We'll find out soon enough, right? Well, I mean, you can see a big building over there, but there are some good Pokemon you can find here. So this thing, this little mouse duo, 
Yeah, it's a very cute Pokemon. And honestly, it's one I have not used, so you know, I'll add it to the list of possibilities. It's Tandemouse. And it is like a normal type Pokemon. It's very cute. It's pretty good. Yay, I caught it. All right, Tandemouse. Yeah, this is like the earliest you can get Tandemouse. You can get it in other locations. Uh, helping hand, I don't really need that. You can get it in other locations. Oh, this is good to know. I will show this in a moment. But this is the earliest you can get it. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to get this Tandemouse because it's level 12. <laughs> yeah, I like this stronger one a little bit better. I think I'll put it on the team. I don't know what I should get rid of though. I guess hairdo. I'm sorry, hairdo. Like, I probably wouldn't use both Tandemouse and Big Wig Pig. I'll need to think a little bit about that. But for right now, I'll put Tandemouse on the team. Okay, so this trainer here spoiled everything. That's right, the Pokemon League. You can go to the Pokemon League right now. I'm making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Yeah, sure. Jackson the student. And it's a Meowth. Yeah, I'd better get out of here. Um, let's send out... Shoot, I guess I really need to send out my cat. Alright, cat fight! Oh, payday. Thanks. I like free money. Gave a lot of experience, though. Well, losing's one way to mark an occasion. But yeah, you'll notice it's starting to become sunset now. So after you have done the tutorial mode, there will be a day and night cycle. However, this day and night cycle is no longer based on real world time. It just kind of cycles every, I don't know, like, I want to say it's like 45 minutes or something like that. But I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. So anyway, there's the Pokemon League right here. I might as well heal up since there's this Pokemon center right here. Oh, before I do, remember what I said just a moment ago for relearning moves. So any move that you forget, like you just don't have room for, you can relearn it right from your move screen here just by doing A to remember moves. However, this is really cool because if you teach a move via TM and then you forget that move, you can relearn the move in the same way. So it's very handy. It works with egg moves as well, but it's a nice kind of thing to add for like TM moves. That's awesome. Okay, let's fight you. You look like you've got promise, kid. Let's give you a challenge to grow on. All right, let's do it. Cabby Paco. All right, a crook, a cro crocodile. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, just casual level 56 crocodile. This is fine. This is perfectly, absolutely fine. <laughs> Everything is going wrong. Everything is going so wrong. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? It has Moxie! Oh no! No! Okay, well this is pretty dire. I don't see a good way to get around this crocodile that has you know, plus two attack and his rampaging and all that. So I'm gonna do something so out there. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> so one kind of nice change is you can run away from trainer battles. Like this is a new thing. They just kind of added that. It's the same as a loss, but it saves you the humiliation of watching all of your Pokemon faint. <laughs> So yeah, that's funny. That guy right there is funny. However, back here, hiding behind the Pokemon League building, is Baton Pass, which I probably don't need, but it's here nonetheless. Okay, I want some revenge. I want to fight some of these trainers now, so let's go ahead and do that. They're probably pretty weak now. I came to Maze of Goza to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. Okay, a Rookity. That should be a lot easier than a Crocodile. Good fight. Guess I delivered you a win. Yeah, I just want the money. 
Ooh, what's this over here? Super potion, nice. Yeah, there's a bunch of items and trainers like in this area that I just completely forgot. Oh, sorry. Any trainer worth their salt knows. What do I know? Pop quiz, what happens when a Pokemon's HP runs out? Well, I just found out. It's pretty embarrassing. You're challenged by Hiker Paula. A slack off, all right. Nice! Bug Ball took down the Slack Off. Yeah, trainers don't really give you that much experience, to be honest. Like, they're not super strong. They give you money, though, so that's always a good thing. Oh no, I can't get that, but I do see a Pokemon I haven't gotten yet. It's Surskit! And also when you're fighting Pokemon and the Pokemon you're using is in the water, like some Pokemon that can't swim, it puts up like a little inner tube for them. I just love that. It's so cute. It's like, I gotcha. I'll put a little inner tube up for you. Not really inner tube. I guess it's more like a float, you know? Got Surskit! Woohoo! Ah! No! I don't want to fall in the water. What happens if you fall in the water, by the way? Yeah, you manage to scramble back out of the water. Later on, you'll be able to, but for right now, no, it's not an option. But I can still make that jump, because I'm bold and I want that revive. Oh, there we go. There is a Pokemon I completely missed out on earlier. Shrudel! It's like both really cute and really ugly at the same time. That's what I love about it. I Like I said, when I fought against the one that Team Star had, I used a Shrudel in my first playthrough of Pilot, and it evolves into Grafaii, which is pretty neat. It's a normal poison type, or poison armor. I don't remember the order. It doesn't really matter. But it was, it was fun. It wasn't like my best Pokemon or anything. Like it kind of fell off, but it was neat. And it's just so dang ugly that it's cute. Like that's what I feel about it. Great, got me Shrudel. I made the jump. That's what it is. I think there's a way you can skip that still, but yeah, even if, like, once you get the, uh, once you get Maride on, you can jump across here, and then everything's, like, super high level, and, like, it's kind of crazy. I don't know what I could do against any of that. Look at that, there's a Salazzle, level 33! Out to ruin me! There's a Misdreavus. There's, like, all sorts of stuff over here. I could keep going if I wanted, which... I guess that could be fun, but, well, you know what, let's just kind of poke around. This seems like a terrible idea. I'm also going to leave the items here just because, I don't know, I feel like I'm out of bounds right now. I shouldn't be here. I just wanted to check it out, okay? All right, I'll leave. I'll leave. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so what is this? Yo, Pollen Puff. That is really good. That's a really good TM. Can anyone learn this? No, that's unfortunate. Well, I'll need to be on the lookout for something that can learn that, because that's very good. Also in this area, there's an ether. Cool. Also, maybe I can't even get up here normally. I think, uh, yeah, this is still a little cheaty right now. This is actually right above the cave where, um, where the Houndoom were. Well, the Houndoom was. I guess the Hound Dower were there. Or wait, no, here, here's the cave. Well, where's this cave go? In the Lake Grotto, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm up here now, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's where I got out before. Okay, so I guess you could get there. You just had to go back to In Lake Grotto. Or something. Thing? I, I don't know. Let's check it out. I like to explore. Okay, so in here we've got a super potion. Yeah, there is no way I could have gotten any of this stuff on my first exploration through... Oh, a Houndour. What was that? I mashed A so fast. Like, flickered onto the screen for a moment again. Oh, hmm. 
Actually, I don't know if I want to weaken this thing. Well, let's just see if I hit it with Rap. It's a pretty weak move. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that Wild Hound was wrapped by eels! Could actually be a pretty cool Pokemon to use. I don't recall when I've used a Houndour or a Houndoom. Oh, there's an item right here. I must have forgotten this, like, at the very beginning. It's a Pokeball. I mean, you know, it's fine to forget, but there it is. Ah, here we go. So what is over here? There is a Dusk Ball. And then if I make the Leap of Faith over here, I can grab Phantom Force. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, kind of what I thought. No one can learn that, but okay. No. Oh, man. Look at this. So this is... I don't even know where this is. It's a little hard to tell due to being in a cave, but there's like that door right there. And then down this hole, this pit... I think this is where the Hound Doom was looking at you. And there's Dragon Dance. <laughs> there's some really good stuff in here. Jeez. Okay, so I can't get up there, unfortunately. At least not with my current abilities. But I can go up here. Right, and here we go. This is where... Yeah, this is where I came in from. But, you know, normally you wouldn't be doing that. So yeah, I think I saw there was another item around here too. Remember, this is where I think Pollen Puff was. So it doesn't require like jumping up there. You can do it by just going back to where Inlet Grotto was. You can get Phantom Force, you can get Dragon Dance, Pollen Puff, all at this point in the game without anything super cheesy. But yeah, there was there were these two items over here I wanted to pick up. A great ball, that's pretty good. And then, can I get it? Yes, I can. Don't even have to choose. Grass Knot, all right. Oh, and also over here, oh, I found a hidden cherry berry and an orange berry, but there's Tailwind! This is like up on the hill by my house. There's this tree with some flowers and there's some honey, some sweet honey. Okay, <laughs> this is so weird, but I love weird. So I'm gonna jump down here. This is kind of by my house. And there is an item over there. I just want to make sure, like, you know, once we jump down here, I'm not going back up. Alright, we can get this. It's probably not gonna be super exciting. Well, it's a super potion, but, you know, I was right. It wasn't super exciting. Oh yeah, now I can jump, so I can actually just jump right down here and grab this thing behind my house and get Substitute! As well as a Nugget! Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good, except now I am trapped. I can't actually get out of here. Well... All right, somehow that worked out. Now, if ever you're trapped, <laughs> you could just fly. Like, anywhere you are, you can just go to your map, and then you can just fly, and you'll be just fine. Now, the real question is, can I jump over to that island? Let's find out. Whoa! Oh, just barely. Rare candy, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, wait, where's the... Oh, I think the gimme ghoul... Oh, no, you're right here. Hi. Thanks. Uh-oh, now I'm really trapped. <laughs> Alright, I'll fly. So somehow I missed this while I was over in Las Platos. I mean, honestly, it's fine, but there's this rest TM. Kind of over here by this pond. And then right above that, there's an expedif. As well as, wow, there's a lot of items over here. Pokeball. Antidote. Potion. Oh, a spupa. It's all ready to go. That's kind of cool. Yay, caught spupa. I don't even need to evolve my scatterbug. All right, let's fight against this person here. 
Got time to battle a fellow like me on your way to school. Reuben the janitor. He's got a level five gulp and that's not too threatening. Never mind, he used yawn. I gotta get out of here. Safe trip then. Over oh, by Ruben, there's a few more items. There's a Pokeball. And a potion! Woohoo! Okay! Finally! Let's go back and fight you! The trainer that I said I was gonna fight and then I never did. I got two whole Pokemon! Am I cool or what? So the first Pokemon he has is an Azuril. Just a level four Azuril. It was no match for eels! Hound Hour for number two. Level five Hound Hour. Well, thankfully, Eels is just the Pokemon for the job. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did it. I found the trainer that I missed earlier. Wow, my two Pokemon! All the way back here in this corner. There's a Heal Ball. And actually, that's where I, I fought this trainer, right? Yeah, I did, so... I don't know how I missed that. Over here by this tree, there's an ether, and there's another trainer, which I should probably fight. Oh, and a Pachirisu. Wait, don't climb that tree. No. Wait, get down. Oh, whoa. <laughs> there's a bounce suite up there too. There's all these Pokemon in the tree. What the heck? Yay, cop bounce sweet. Very nice. Okay, and lastly, let me get this Pachirisu. <laughs> Woohoo! Cop Pachirisu. Fantastic. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm gonna open up my Pokedex app, which I do with Y. Or I think I can press minus as well. Then go in here, and hopefully the numbers line up. All right, let's see. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app. Yeah, it's kind of nifty. We'll explore this later. I just kind of wanted to see... I mean, we can do it now. Like, if you look at the Pokedex here, like, you can see all the little books. And it is quite lovely. It shows these lovely little, like, pictures of the Pokemon. It gives them a lot of character. You can press plus, and you'll see their habitat and also some traits about them like you know they only appear uh well, this one can dangle from tree branches like i know we've seen it outside of that but it just kind of says some helpful stuff so hopefully i've caught 37 according to my little like drop down thing otherwise well i'll get it fixed but another really useful thing is if you press minus here it lets you evaluate no that's not what it was it was where was it? There was somewhere you can... Oh, actually, maybe I don't have that unlocked yet. Well, that's fine. Or no, no, it's... You go in here. That's right. You go in here, and then you press X. And for every 10 Pokemon you find... Or you catch. I'm sorry. For every 10 Pokemon you catch, you'll get a reward. So in this case, I get 3 Stardust and 10 Great Balls and a Thunderstone. So that's pretty darn good. And then right around the corner, once I get to 40, I'll get 10 Ultra Balls, which will feel great. So it's a good idea to go into your Pokedex and press X every now and then to get new rewards. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really curious to hear where we are going to be going. I know that there's still a bit more around here, but we can always check it out later. But yeah, the decision will need to be made and, you know, probably by this point, I'll have read the comments and stuff 
But yeah, I just wanted just a, a video to kind of wait so I can be recording this on... Well, it'll be on my Sunday, so... But yeah, so whether we go this route or whether we go this route and kind of do this stuff, you know, either is fine, perfectly fine. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Violet Adventure.